Well, let's find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I will go into a session with you guys, if that's okay. We'll find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help us relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that the tummy is tucked in at the navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having that nice, elongated spine. Shoulders relax downward away from our ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into our seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. With our eyes slightly gazed down, relaxing, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we allow our palms to connect to the earth, fingertips, palms are touching our yoga mat with our back straight, shoulders melted down, eyes are gazed down to close. Just taking a moment to notice what's going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment, simply being aware. During our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Three more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated star, palms are slightly outward towards the side. Our heart chakra is lifted. Our pelvic bone is tilted forward. Nice, elongated spine with that chin up. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, twisting the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the right, towards the earth. As we gaze over that right shoulder, maybe connecting that left hand to that right knee, coming deeper in that spinal twist. As we gaze the eyes down, if that feels good, three breaths, two breaths. Exhale and back to center, coming back to that star. Palms are out towards the side, breathe in. Exhale, twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that spinal cord decompress and relax with the eyes gaze down. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star. As we flow into that salute, breathing our palms upwards, fingertips, faces, the heavens, the ceilings, and that seated salute. Our palms are separated with their heart chakra lifted, chin is up, feeling that pelvic bone tilt forward, nice, elongated spine. Breathe in, exhale, holding a pose. Breathing our palms together, coming into that seated salute. Breathing our palms down that heart center, coming into that seated prayer. Palms are relaxed at heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Tummies are tucked in at the navel. Two more breaths. Keeping our palms together, extending our arms above our heads, coming back into that seated salute. Palms are together. Noticing the difference between a seated salute, the palms are together. In a seated extended mountain, palms are separated. Just taking a moment to notice the difference between the two. Extended mountain, palms are separated. Seated salute, palms are together. 
as we interlace our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, as we allow the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, you'll feel your heart chakra lift, that chin is up facing the heavens. This here is a slight back bend. We're gonna hold this for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms, coming back into that seated salute. Extended mountain, separating those palms. As we breathe our fingertips downward towards our shoulders. And we're gonna relax those shoulders as we do a couple of shoulder shrugs forward, shoulder rugs, shoulder rolls. We are using these rolls to relax and loosen up the upper parts of our bodies. Also, you may feel this in your back blades. Trapeze muscles here. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Two more breaths. Finding that pause as we rotate in the opposite direction. Nice deep shoulder rolls, feeling the upper body relax and soothe. Three more breaths. Finding that pause at center, breathing our palms outward towards the side, coming into the cactus hands. As we squeeze our back blades together towards that spinal cord, filling your back blades, squeeze that spine. Let's ball our hands in a fist as we are squeezing that spinal cord. Keeping that chin up. You'll feel this burn in your upper back, your shoulders, squeeze, squeeze. We're going to hold this pose and we're going to breathe our arms inward, coming into a peekaboo. Breathing our palms, our arms together in front of our face. Exhaling back out, squeezing the shoulder blades. Nice deep stretch, nice deep squeeze. Heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Squeeze, squeeze. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to peekaboo, breathing those arms in front of the face, fists are bald, holding it, tummies are tight. Exhaling back to cactus hands, we're going to keep our fists bald and we're going to punch forward. We're working the back blades and the shoulders. We're going to jab forward with the right hand, then jab with the left, feeling your hips twist slightly, going as fast or as slow as you choose, feeling the arms Working here, feeling the shoulders and the back blades, building strength. Noticing these small movements here, we can feel it in our bodies. Going as fast as you choose, we're going to do a couple jabs, feeling the blows, allowing the hips to slightly twist as we are punching forward, keeping that chin up, keeping that tummy nice and tight. Let's do four more jabs nice and fast. Four breaths, three breaths, two breaths. Finding that pause, coming back to cactus hands. Let's relax those palms downward towards the earth. Fingertips relaxes on the earth. Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale, relaxing the shoulder blades downward from the ears. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Using this time to relax and soothe. Four breaths. Two breaths. With that right palm flat on the earth, we're going to take that left arm and extend it up in the air and over the head as the body leans towards the right. Feeling this side stretch here in that side body. We can option to slightly gaze up at the heavens. Notice that when we gaze up, their heart chakra lifts. Opening up their heart chakra if we choose to gaze up. Four breaths, three breaths, exhale into center, connecting that right, that left palm to the earth. Both palms are connected to the earth. Backs are nice and straight, tummies are tight, shoulders relax. Taking a moment to notice how we feel. Two breaths. 
taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. With our left palm flat on the earth, we're going to extend that right arm up in the air over the head as the body leans towards the left, feeling the side stretch in that body. Optioning to slightly gaze up at the heavens. Notice that when we gaze up, that body slightly twists, that heart chakra opens up. Four breaths. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, palms relax on our laps. Let's do a couple of shoulder shrugs here. To the front, to the front or to the back, whatever feels best for you. Two more breaths. Finding that pause as we do a couple of circular rotations here with our neck. Just allowing the head to relax and roll as fast or as slow as you choose. Three breaths. As we find our pause at center, rotating in the opposite direction. Three more breaths. Finding our pause, relaxing our bodies as we flow into our bell position, diamond or butterfly, with the bottoms of our feet connecting. In our diamond, our feet are further away from the body. In a butterfly, the feet are closer to the body. So that is the difference between a diamond and a butterfly. They look very similar, except one is a deeper hip opener, and that is the butterfly with the feet being closer to the body. So doing your diamond or your butterfly, whatever feels best for you, as we connect our palms, our hands to our feet, keeping that back straight, even though we are slightly hinged forward, the back is nice and straight. Noticing that when we hinge forward, let's come in a little deeper in that hinge and you'll feel this here in those inner thighs just a little more. So only hinging forward as much as your body comfortably allows you to hinge forward. Allowing the chest, the torso to come closer to the feet, to the earth. We can allow our shoulder blades to melt forward. We can allow our head to drop downward towards our feet if that feels good for the body as well. Taking nice, subtle breaths as we sink into this pose. Noticing how we are stretching and opening those inner thighs, working those hip flexors here. With the eyes gazed down and closed, may we allow the body to completely relax, going deeper. Six breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Slowly using the hands to push the body up, coming out of that hinge position. Taking a moment to notice how we feel here in our hips as we breathe our legs and we're coming into a cow face. Just breathing one leg over the other. Whatever leg feels best for you, we're going to come into that cow face legs. This is a counter stretch to what we just did, allowing the body to relax and soothe here. And we're going to slightly hinge at the hips just a little, just noticing how that hinge feels in our hip flexors. Keeping that back straight as we hinge, even though we are lean, lean forward, we are not going to curve that spine. Keeping that spinal cord long, chin is up, maybe the eyes are closed, two more breaths. Slightly coming up here in that cow face legs, taking a moment to do a couple of shoulder shrugs, one at a time to the back, filling your shoulders, your chest, just move your hips, two more, finding that pause. We're gonna take this right arm lifted up in the air, right fingertips flows to the back. We are patting ourselves on the back here, yes. Noticing how that feels. We're gonna take this left hand and push that right elbow back a little deeper, like we're trying to scratch our back, trying to get into that deep back scratch. We are doing a cow face prep pose. 
just noticing how this is and how this feels in our shoulders and our back legs. So we are using our left hand to push our right hand deeper down that back like we're trying to scratch our back. It might help by keeping the pelvic tilted forward and that chest up and that chin up. And it'll allow you to go deeper in that stretch here. And we're going to hold this for four breaths. Two more breaths. And we're going to relax the hands down. Just noticing how that feels in the body. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we extend that back hand, the left hand, up in the air, left fingertips goes towards the back like we're trying to pat ourselves on the back. And we're going to take this right hand and use it to push our elbow back to allow our fingertips to go deeper down that back like we're trying to scratch our back. Optioning to tilt that pelvic forward, chest is up, chin is up to come deeper in that stretch. We are using this pose to build our bodies to come into that complete cow face position. So slightly pushing the elbow back. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Just relaxing the palms on the earth. Taking a moment to check in here. And if all feels well, we're going to try to go into that full cow face. And here's another option to go into cow face. We can also use the strap. See the strap is in my hand. We'll place the strap behind our backs. And then we can do the cow face with the strap as well. I'm going to show you how this guy's how it looks behind my back. This is the cow face with the strap. And that's just prepping the body. But this is how the full cow face hands look. Interlace our fingers. And then we are in that full cow face. So I just wanted to turn around and show you guys that. So now I'm going to turn back forward. I'm going to cross my legs back in that cow face. And we're going to either try to use the strap to get into that cow face position. Or we can just do the shoulder pushes to prep our body. Or if we're able, if our shoulders are opened enough, we are going to interlace our fingertips together in that cow face, keeping that pelvic tilted forward, keeping that chest up and lifted and keeping that chin slightly up often allows people to come deeper in that pose. And we're going to hang out here for only four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Slowly uninterlacing those fingers, coming out of their cow face legs, breathing our palms outward. We're going to hug ourselves, hugging our shoulders, just using this hug to relax and soothe those muscles, the shoulders, just allowing us to relax and soothe. We're also giving ourselves a little hug here. Slightly gazing the eyes down with that spinal cord elongated. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Unhugging the body. Let's come nice and wide legged. Nice and wide legged. Breathing our legs slightly apart, slightly hinging at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you're going to feel those hip flexors work in here. Yes. Allowing the hands to touch the knees or the ankles or the bottoms of the feet if we are able. As we hinge forward, allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward, allowing that head to melt down. Optioning to point those toes downward towards the earth and that ballerina flex or keeping the toes pointed up. Whatever feels best for you. Four more breaths. Two breaths.
Exhale, slightly coming up. We're going to slightly breathe our legs inward just a little bit as we connect this right foot to that left inner thigh. Right foot to left inner thigh. Body's nice and straight as we breathe this left hand to the left knee or ankle or at the bottoms of the feet as our bodies lean towards that left thigh. And we can gaze downward at the earth as we are leaning towards the left, or we can twist the body and gaze up at the heavens. Noticing how they feel a little different when we're gazing downward at the feet, twisting our bodies towards that thigh. Or when we twist the body upwards and gaze up at the heavens over that right shoulder. We can do both. We can do either or. If we're twisted and gaze up at the heavens, we can option to wrap this right arm behind our backs as we gaze over that right shoulder. Come in a little deeper, you'll feel that spinal twist. You'll also feel that stretch behind your left leg and that hamstring. With the eyes gaze down, mind and body is relaxed. Four breaths of silence. Slowly exhaling out. Let's come nice and wide-legged just for a second. Backs are straight. Slightly hinging forward, keeping that back straight. Slightly gazing the eyes down if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up, straightening that body as we slightly breathe those legs inward. We're going to breathe this left foot into that right thigh, connecting it. As we slightly hinge over that right thigh, we can connect our hands to our knees, to our ankles, to the bottoms of our feet, and simply just relax over that thigh, feeling that stretch in the hamstring. Or we can option to slightly twist the body towards the left, slightly gazing up at the heavens. And feeling that slight spinal twist. We can also option to wrap this left arm behind our backs as we gaze over that left shoulder. Whatever feels best for you as we allow that body to stretch and lengthen with the eyes gazed down and closed. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out, lifting our bodies up. As we come into our staff pose, breathing our legs side by side, parallel. Legs are together, spinal cords are nice and elongated. That pelvic bone is tilted forward. Chest is lifted, chin is up. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that Seated half forward folds, keeping that back straight. And we're just going to hinge at the hips. You'll feel that stretch behind your legs and your inner thighs. We're going to keep that chin up as we are hinging, noticing how that feels behind the legs. We can option to come into a complete forward fold, seated forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles or the lower bottoms of our feet as our Shoulders melt forward and our head comes closer towards our thighs, our knees. Half forward fold or complete forward fold. Seated, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up, using the body to lift, using the hands to lift that body up. Just keep that heart chakra lifted, that chin is up as we breathe our palms above our heads. Coming into that salute, palms together. Exhaling down the prayer hands, palms come heart center. 
Gazing forward, slightly gazing the eyes down. We're closing the eyes. Two breaths. Slowly coming out. Let's cross our feet at our ankles as we come onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. Tummies are tight at our navel as we drop that tummy down, coming into a cow. Noticing how this cow feels here in that lumbar spine. This is a relaxing and soothing pose for that lower back. That chin is slightly up. And we're going to flow into that cat pose, tucking that tummy in at the navel. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Chin comes to the clavicle. Cat pose. As we do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Going as fast or as slow as you need. Three more breaths. We're going to find that pause at center. We're going to push that body up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Optioning to walk that dog by pedaling the feet left and right. Mm -hmm. Keeping that tummy nice and tucked in. We're going to find that pause here in this down dog, and we're going to shift that weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are nice and tight. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhale, back down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog if we choose. We're gonna find that pause, breathing that right leg up in the air, three-legged dog as we gaze back at that foot. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. Let's come on down to a dolphin, coming on to our forearms, giving our bodies a little rest. Dolphin pose, four breaths. Optioning to drop to your knees and coming into puppy pose if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to down dog, gazing at the feet. As we three-legged dog opposite side, the left foot comes up in the air, gazing at that foot. Two breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow, crunching it in. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. Let's walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Find pause, shift weight forward, high plank, three breaths, two breaths, exhale back down dog, drop into our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, drop into our knees, coming into a puppy pose, puppy pose, buttocks is high in the air, chest is connected to the earth, extended puppy pose, Palms are in front of us, flat on the earth. Or we can do the puppy pose in our prayer hands, breathing our palms together, flowing them over our head. 
Wherever we may be in our puppy, host may our forehead, third eye chakra be connected to the earth with our eyes gazed downward or closed, allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward into the yoga mat with that butt high up in the air, feeling that lumbar spine soothing, feeling that heart connecting to the earth, feeling that third eye chakra connecting to your environment, to the earth, to the universe. As we take a nice breath, exhale. As we relax in this pose, seven breaths of silence. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, may we spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to wave that body forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. We're going to do a couple of spinal waves, allowing this wave to relax and soothe that spinal cord. Option to also allow your neck and head to flow into this spinal rotation, Feel, feeling that entire spinal cord relax and soothe here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming back to that table. Let's drop the body down to cow. Exhale, cat. Flowing back to that table as we extend that right leg towards the back, coming into that sunbird pose. Right legs to the back, and let's pulse that right leg up nice and high, and you'll feel that gluteus maximus getting nice and tight. And now let's pulse that right leg up. Feeling that gluteus maximus get strong and firm. We're also lifting that gluteus maximus here. We're gonna pulse it up, we can option to just keep it still. We are still working at gluteus maximus. Whatever feels best for you as we are gaze forward, four breaths. Two breaths. We're gonna keep that leg still, no more pulsing as we extend that left arm forward. So right legs to the back, left arms forward. Tummies are engaged. Gaze forward, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table. Maybe drop down the cow. Taking a nice breath. Slow into cat. Coming back to our table. As we extend that opposite leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Optioning to pulse that leg up and down. Working at gluteus maximus, rounding and lifting and firming. We can option to also keep that leg still. Whatever feels best. Tummies are tight, four breaths. Two breaths. We're gonna find that pause, extending that opposite hand. So in my case, right arms forward, left leg is to the back. Gaze forward, tummies are engaged. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table. Strapping that body down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog if we choose. 
As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. This here is a full body stretch, allowing that head to melt downward towards the earth. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. We're going to hold this for four breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, keeping that back straight as we are gaze forward. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, we're going to come back down to that complete forward fold. This time coming into a rag doll, using our hands to connect them to our shoulders as our head relaxes down. Optioning to sway or rock that body from side to side in that rag doll. Noticing that when you rock or sway, you can really feel that pull and that stretch and that lengthening in your legs and your hamstrings. We're going to hang out here in this rag doll. Five breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Let's come nice and wide-legged here, coming into that wide-legged forward fold. Nice and wide-legged here. As we bend our knees left and right, feeling that stretch here in the inner thighs. Maybe our, maybe our palms are connected to the earth, keeping that back straight. Finding our paws at center, nice and wide-legged here. We're going to connect this right hand to that right ankle. I'm sorry, let's start over. We're going to connect this right hand to that left ankle. Then we're going to wrap this left hand behind our backs as we gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that wide-legged stretch. We're also twisting and soothing that spinal cord. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. As we breathe this left hand to that right ankle. And we're going to wrap this right arm around our backs like we're doing that thread the needle as we gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist. We are nice and wide legged. Also feeling that stretch and lengthening. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Let's bend our knees coming into that goddess God stance. Bending those knees. We are working our quads, the lower parts of our bodies, coming into the cactus hands. Keeping that heart chakra lifted. And we can option to rock that body from side to side. We can also toss it up and down. Or we can just simply stay still. As we are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies, our quads, our calves, our gluteus maximus, our hips. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Let's find that pause and let's pause it up and down. Four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Let's pulse it down nice and deep, nice and deep. Let's pulse it up, standing star, nice and wide-legged. Feet are out to the side, palms are out to the side. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up, standing star. With the eyes slightly gazed down with a closed. Feeling nice and strong here in our star. We went from our goddess, God's dance. We are now in our star. 
star stands. Because we are power. We are the light. And we are the way in our own lives. Keeping that chin up slightly, gazing the eyes down. Three breaths of silence. Exhaling back down to that goddess. God stands, bending those knees, working the lower parts of the body, building strength, hip flexors here. Optioning to pulse or rock, or we could just stay here in our goddess cactus hands. We also have an option to breathe our arms above our heads. And that salute hand, if that feels good, noticing how that feels. Four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, left standing star. Nice deep breath. Exhale. Allowing the body to lean to the right. Left arm flows over the head, slightly gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Rotating to the opposite side. Feeling a body flow here. Feeling that side body stretch. Gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale, opposite side. Feeling the rotations here. Gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale on opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale back to star. Palms to the side. Heart chakras lifted. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale back down to that goddess. God stance. Cactus hands or extended salute. Whatever feels best for you here. Six breaths, five, four, three, two, hold it, pause it, bonus points. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, straightening the legs, connecting the hands to the knees or the ankles. Allowing that head to melt downward towards the earth. Full body stretch. Take it a nice deep breath. Exhale. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side. As we walk our hands forward, breathing our feet together, down dog. Exhale, high plank, shifting that weight forward. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. We're gonna hold this plank. We're gonna slightly breathe our legs down. We're coming into a cobra or an up dog. In an up dog, our thighs are off the earth. In our cobra, our thighs are connected to the earth. So that's the difference between a cobra, thighs are connected, up dog, thighs are off the earth. With that chin up, heart chakra lifted. Three more breaths. If we're in our up dog, let's come on down to the cobra, connecting our thighs to the earth. <sighs> Allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. Nice deep stretch. Also a back bend. Exhaling down to space pose. Allowing our torso to connect to the earth. We are on our forearms here in the space pose. Our shoulders are not shrugged. 
Have a control of the body, lifting the shoulders away from the ears, lifting the ears away from the shoulders here, shall I say. Spanx pose, shoulders are not shrugged. Have a control of that body, chin is up. Maybe our palms are together in prayer hands, maybe. Eyes slightly gaze down or closed. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Five breaths of silence. <clears throat> As we flow down to Superman or Supergirl, coming flat on our tummies, arms are off in front of us, thighs, feet are off the earth. We are flying like we're Superman, Supergirl. This works our gluteus maximus, the backs of our legs. It works our backs and our arms. Four more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this pose, but we're going to swim our hands towards the back. Coming into a locust pose, swimming those hands to the back. Our palms are up facing the heavens. Our chest is slightly off the earth, chin is up. Locust pose, our legs and feet are still off the earth. We are continuing to work our arms, our backs, our gluteus maximus, the backs of our legs. Two more breaths, holding this pose. And we're gonna keep on flowing here. We're gonna connect our right hand to our right ankle. And if we are well, we're gonna connect the left hand to the left ankle if it all feels good with our body. We are now in that bow pose. Or you can do a half bow, meaning just one hand to one ankle at a time. So full bow or half bow, switching sides. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. Relax, exhale, coming into a sleeping locus, just straightening the body, allowing the forehead to connect to the earth, allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. We are in our sleeping locus, taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. Four breaths of silence. <clears throat> Slowly awakening that sleeping locust, lifting our bodies up, lifting our arms up, lifting the feet up. Locust pose. Swimming our hands forward, coming into that sleeping crocodile. Crossing our palms on top of each other, on our chin, on our cheek, or our forehead as our shoulder blades melt forward. Three breaths. Mm. Let's slightly roll onto our backs. Coming into a recline position. Lifting our legs up in the air. Waterfall pose, AKA legs on the wall pose. Legs are straight up. Shoulder blades are connected to the earth. Toes are pointed towards the heavens. As we reach our hands to the lower parts of our legs, we're gonna breathe our legs towards our bodies. We're going to slightly breathe our hands to our feet if we're able as we lift our gluteus maximus slightly off the earth. Feeling this stretch. You'll feel it in your lumbar spine. Exhale and back out. Let's breathe our knees into our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest as we allow our knees to flow towards the left. Recline spinal twist. Still in that spine. Soothe and relax. Knees will flow to the left, right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. 
And we can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that right shoulder, allowing the shoulder blades to relax towards the earth. Eyes are closed. Four breaths of silence. Exhale into center as we allow our knees to flow to the opposite side, to the right for me, knees flows to the right. Feeling that reclined spinal twist, left arm goes out to the side like a lowercase t. We can gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that left arm. Shoulder blades connects to the earth or comes close with the eyes, gaze down with a closed. Four breaths of silence. Hmm. As we roll into a fetal pose, hugging our knees into our chest, relaxing our Neck on our arms. Gaze in the eyes down or closed. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths as we are wiggling our toes in our two breaths, wiggling our buttocks here in our two breaths, allowing the body to wake. Breathe in. Exhale. Using that top hand to lift our bodies up, coming into a seated pose, any easy seat of choice. I'm going to come into cow face legs. May you find your seat. Keeping that back straight. Tummy's tucked in at the navel. Shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As our palms come to heart center. Coming into that seated prayer. As we use this time to Thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care with you and practice teaching training with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.